Πλουβιτός ο Θεός ημών πάντων τεν ειν και αίκης τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Glory to you, our God, glory to you, our heavenly King, the comfort of the Spirit of truth, who art ever present, and fill us all things, the treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, pardon our sins. Master, forgive our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, Lord of heaven, now will be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison. Yaramur kam, yaramur kam, yaramur kam. Kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come let us worship and bow down to our King and God. Lefte proskinisume ke prospesume Christo to Vasili Monteo. O come, let us worship and bow down to Christ, Himself our King and our God. O cusu tu kiri enimera tripseo, si peras pise tu onamas tu teu iako, ex apostele si voithian ex aiu, Και εξιώναν τη λαβήτο σου, νύστη πάσης θυσία σου. Ολοκαθώματα σου, διάνατο, ροήσει κύριε κατά της καρδίαν σου. Και πάσαν της βουλήν σου, πληρώσε, αγαλίασό με το αέπι το σωτηριόν σου. Και εν το όνομα τη Θεού ημών, Μεγαλών πιστόμεθα, πληρώσε Κύριος πάντα τα αιτήματα σου. Μην έγνων ότι έσωσε Κύριος τον Χριστόν αυτού. Επακούσετε αυτού εκ του ουρανού Αγίου αυτού. Εν Εν δυναστείας η σωτηρία της δεξιάς αυτού ούτι εν άρμασι και ούτι εν ύπης, ημείς δε ονόματι Κυρίου Θεού ημών μεγαλών, μεγαλήν χριστόμεθα, αυτοί συνεφορεύθησαν και έπεσαν, ημείς δε ανέστημεν και ανωθώθημεν, Κύριε σώσον τον βασιλέα, και υπάκουσον ημών, εν γη αν ημέρα επεκκαλυσό με φάσε. Κύριε, εν τη δυνάμε του εφαίνου,
Άγιος Ισχυρός, Άγιος Αθάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος Ισχυρός, Άγιος Αθάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνεύματι, και νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Παναγία Τριά ελέησον ημάς. Κύριε Ιλάστη τες αμαρτίες ημών, δέσποτα συγχώρησον τας ανομίας ημίν. Άγιε επίσκεψε και ίαση τας ασθενείας ημών ένεκεν του ονόματό σου. Κύριε Λέησον, Κύριε Λέησον, Κύριε Λέησον. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. All together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance granting victory to the faithful against the adversaries and protecting your commonwealth by your cross. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. O Christ our God, who of your own will was lifted up on the cross, grant your mercies to your new commonwealth named after you. In your power gladden our faithful leaders, granting them victories against the advers adversaries. May they have your alliance as a weapon of peace, an invincible trophy. Now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. O awesome and ever-present protection, O lauded Theotokos, of your goodness overlook not our supplications. Make firm the commonwealth of the Orthodox, save those whom you have called to govern, and grant them victory from on high, for you gave birth to God, the only blessed one, have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for devout and orthodox Christians. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, Again, we pray for our Archbishop and Father Sava and for all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, and undivided Trinity, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Δόξα ανεψίστη Θεό και πηγή σιρήνη εν ανθρώπη σε αυτοκία. Δόξα ανεψίστη Θεό και πηγή σιρήνη εν ανθρώπη σε αυτοκία. Δόξα ανεψίστη Θεό και πηγή σιρήνη εν ανθρώπη σε αυτοκία. Κύριε τα χείλη μου ανοίξει και το στόμα μου αναγγελεί την ανέληση. Κύριε τα χείλη μου ανοίξει και το στόμα μου αναγγελεί την ανέληση. Κύριε τι επλήνθησαν οι θλίβοντέ μου, πολλοί επανίστοτε από με. Πολλοί λέγωση την ψυχή μου. Ου και στη σοδρή αυτό εν το Θεό αυτού. Σύδε κύριε, αντίληψό μου, η δόξα μου και υψών την κεφαλή μου. Πονή μου προ κύριο και έκραξα. Και υπάκουσό μου εξ όρου αγιού αυτού. Εγώ δε κοιμήθην και ύπνοσα. Εξεγέρθη ότι κύριο αντίληψέ μου. Ου φοβήσουμε από μεριάδων λαό τον κύκλο συστηθισμένου. Ανάστα κύριε, σώσου με ο Θεό μου. Ότι σι επέταξε πάντα του εκκρέοντά μου ο Θεό το δόντα. Αμαρτωλών συνέτρεψα του Κυρίου η σωτηρία και με τον λαό σου ευλογία σου. Εγώ δε κοιμήθη και ύπνοσα, εξηγέρθη ότι Κύριος αντίληψα. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me not in your hot displeasure. For your arrows pierce me deeply, and your hand presses me down. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your anger, nor any health in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities have gone over my head like a heavy burden. They are too heavy for me. My wounds are foul and festering because of my foolishness. I am troubled. I am bound down greatly. I go mourning all the day long. 
for my loins are full of inflammation and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and severely broken. I groan because of the turmoil of heart. Lord, all my desire is before you and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart pants, my strength fails me. As for the light of my eyes, it also has gone from me. My loved ones and my friends stand aloof from my plague and my relatives stand afar off. Those also who seek my life lay snares for me. Those who seek my hurt speak of destruction and plan deception all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, do not hear, and I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. Thus I am like a man who does not hear and in whose mouth there is no response. For in you, O Lord, I hope. You will hear, O Lord, my God. For I said, Hear me, lest they rejoice over me, lest when my foot slips, they exalt themselves against me. For I am ready to fall, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity. I will be in anguish over my sin. But my enemies are vigorous, and they are strong. And those who hate me wrongfully have multiplied. Those also who render evil for good, they are my adversaries, because I follow what is good. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. O Theos, O Theos, mo prosekio trizi, et ipsa se ipsichimu, pros aplosi, saraxa mo, e hierimo, ke abato, ke evito. Utos en tu agio oftisu, tu editin dinamisu, ke din doxasu, oti krison, tu eleosu, e pelzoros, e hilimu, e penusu si si utos. Evlogisu se ti zoimu, ke en tu onomatisu, e rota. Έτος και ποιότητος επλυντή η ψυχή μου και χίλια γαλλιάσεως ενέσει τους θαμόντους. Ή εμνημονεύουμε από σου και την στρομνή μου και εν της όθρης σου εμελέτωσε. Ότι εγινήθη βοηθός μου και εις τη σκέπη των πτερίγων σου αγαλλιάσουμε. Εκολύθη η ψυχή μου ο πίσω σου, όπου δε αντιλάβω το δεξιά σου. Αυτοί δε εις μάτινε ζήτησαν την ψυχή μου. Εις ελεύθονται και εκατότατα αυτοί. Παραδεθίσονται οι σκύρα, ρομφέ, μερίδε, αλφαίων και έφτονται. Ο δε βασιλεύ εφροντίστε από το Θεό. Επανεστήσετε επ' αυτό το κοινό εν αυτό, ότι ανφραγιστώ μαλαλούν τον αδελφό. Εν τη έκθεση με μελέτωσε ότι γεννήθη ο βοηθό μου και ει τη σκέπη των τερίγων σου αγαλιάσουμε. Εκολύθη η ψυχή μου, ο πίσω μου, όπου δεν αντιλάβω το ιδέα. Όψα πατρί και ιό και ιό πνεύματι και νύν και αή και στους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αλληλούια, αλληλούια, αλληλούια. Δόξα Σε ο Θεός, Κύριε Ελέησο, Κύριε Ελέησο. Όψα πατρί και ιό και ιό πνεύματι και νύν και αή και στους αιώνας των αιώνων. Κύριε ο Θεός της σωτηρίας μου, η μέρα σε κέκραξα και εν νυχτή εναντίον σου. Ισελθέτω ενώπιόν σου η προσευχή μου, κλείνον το ούσου ει την δέησή μου, ότι επλήστη κακόν η ψυχή μου και η ζωή μου το άδει ήγκησε. Προσελογίστη μετά των καταβενόντων ει λάκων, εγενήθη νοσή άνθρωπο αβοήθητο, εν νεκρή ελεύθερο. Ο σοι τραυματίε καθεύδοντε εν τάφο, ον ου και μνήστη έτη, και αυτοί εκ τη χειρό σου απόστησαν. Έθεντό με εν λάκο κατωτάτο, εν σκοτεινή και εν σκιά θανάτου. Επε με επεστηρίχθη ο θυμό σου και πάντα στου μετεωρισμού σου επίγαγε επε με. Εμάκρυνα στου γνωστού μου απε μου, έθεντό με ευγδέλιγμα εαυτή, παρεδόθην και ούκ εξεπορευόμην. Οι οφθαλμοί μου εισθένησαν από πτωχία, εκέκραξα προσέ κύριε όλη την ημέρα, διεπέτασα προσέ τα σχήρα μου. Μη τη νεκρή ποιήση θαυμάσια ή οι ιατροί αναστήσονται και εξομολογήσονται εσύ. Μη διηγήσετε εσύ τη εν το τάφο το έλεό σου και την αλήθειά σου εν τη απολία. Μη γνωστήσετε εν το σκότι τα θαυμάσια σου και η δικαιοσύνη σου εν γη επιλελισμένη. Καγό προσέ, κύριε, εκέκραξα και το πρωί η προσευχή μου προφθάσισε. 
Η Νατή, Κύριε, αποθεί την ψυχή μου, αποστρέφει στο πρόσωπό σου απ' εμού. Πτωχός ημί εγώ και ενκόπης εκ νεότητός μου, υψωθείς δε ταπεινώθην και εξυπορήθην. Επεμέδη ήλθον αιωριέ σου, οι φοβερισμοί σου εξεπετα... εξετάραξαν με. Εκύκλωσαν με ως ή είδωρ όλην την ημέραν περιέσχον με άμα. Εμάκρινα απ' εμού φίλων και πλησίων και τους γνωστούς μου από ταλαιπωρία. Κύριε, ο Θεός της σωτηρίας μου, ημέρα σε κέκραξα και ενικτή εναντίον σου. Ισελθέ το ενώπιόν σου η προσευχή μου, κλείνον το ούσου εις την δέησή μου. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your distresses, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord execute righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he removed our transgressions from us. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are like dust. As for man, his days are like the grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and its place remembers it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him, and his righteousness to children's children, to such as to keep his covenant, and to those who remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his host, you ministers of his, who do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in all places of his dominion. Κύριε, εισάκωσε την προσευχή μου, ενώτησε την δέησή μου εν τη αληθεία σου, εισάκωσε όμου εν τη δικαιοσύνη σου, και μη εισέλθεις κρίση μετά τον δούλο σου. Ότι ου δικαιωθήσετε ενώπιό σου παζών, ότι καταξίωσεν ο εχθρός την ψυχή μου, εταπείνωσεν εις γη την ζωή μου. Εκάθισέ με σκοτεινής εκ νεκρούς αιώνος, και κηδίασε από με μου το πνεύμα μου, νομή εταράχτη η καρδία μου. Εμνείς την ημερών αρχαίων εμελέτησα εις πάσην της έργης σου, εμπί ημάσι τον χειρό μου εμελέτησα. Διαπέρασε προς έντας κύρας μου, η ψυχή μου εις γίν άνυδρώσει, ταχύ εις άκουσα μου, Κύριε, εξέλιπε το πνεύμα μου, μη αποστρέψει στο πρόσωπό σου από μου και ομοηθήσετε της κατεβάνωσης λαχτής. Ακουστώ ποιήσω μου το πρωί του έλεος σου, ότι εμπισή, ήλπισσα, γνώρισό με, Κύριε, είδω ότι προ... προεύσουμε, ότι και προσέτει η ψυχή μου. Εξαλού εκ των εχθρών μου, Κύριε, προσέ κατέφυγε. Διδαξό μου το ποιή το θέλημά σου, ο Θεσίος Το πνεύμα σου το αγαθό οδηγήσε με γύρια, εν εκατού ονοματός σου, Κύριε, ζήσες με, εν τη δικαιοσύνη σου και εξέξεις και θλίψεις την ψυχή μου, εν το ελέη σου εξελευθερώσεις τους ακτρούς μου και απειλείς πάντα στους θλίβοντας την ψυχή μου, ότι εγώ δούλος σου. Σ' άκουσα μου, Κύριε, εν τη δικαιοσύνη σου και μη σε όθεις κρίση μετά τον δούλο σου. Σάκουσα μου, Κύριε, εν τη δικαιοσύνη Σου, και μη εισάλθεις κρίση μετά τον δούλο Σου. Το πνεύμα Σου, το αγαθό, οδηγήσει με εν γη ευθεία. Δόξα, Πατρί, και Υιό, και Αγίο Πνεύματι, και νυν και αή, και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων, αμήν. Αλληλούια, 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 glory to you, O God. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σε Θεός. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα Σύ, ο Θεός, η ελπίσιμον Κύριε, δόξα Σύ. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Κύριε, λέει σον, 
All the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. All the peace of the whole world for the stability of the Holy Church of God and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. On this holy temple and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop and Father, Sava, the Honorable Presbytery of the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the laity, let us pray to the Lord. For the President of our country, for those in civil authority, and for the armed forces, and for all Orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and for every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell in them let us pray to the Lord. O temperate weather for an abundance of the fruits of the earth and peaceful times let us pray to the Lord. For those at sea and those who travel by land or air for the sick and the suffering for captives and for their salvation let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For to you all glory, honor, and worship are befitting unto the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Eknichtos orthrisi to pneuma mu, prosseo Theos, διότι φως τα προσταγμάτα σου επί της γης. Is 
shall find vigilant and unworthy is the one whom he shall find heedless. Beware therefore, O my soul, not to be borne down with sleep, lest you be given up to death and be shut out of the kingdom. Wherefore, rouse yourself, crying out, Holy, holy, holy are you, our God, through the intercessions of the forerunner, save us. Idu on impeos cerquete, en domeso disnictos, que macarios o dulos, o nebris y grigorudos, Anaxios de Palin, O Nebris Israzimunda, Blepe un psiquimu, Mito hipno catenixis, Inamito sanato paradoxis, que tis basilias exocristis, ala ananipso razusa, aios, 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 e o teosimon. De atiste o toco, Prepare our lamps with care, 
shining in virtues and true faith, that like the prudent virgins of the Lord, we may be ready to enter with him into the wedding feast. For the bridegroom as God bestows a gift to all the incorruptible crown. Let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, the Pharisees went into council how to entangle him in his talk. And they sent the disciples to him along with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are true and teach the way of God truthfully, and care for no man, for you do not regard the position of men. Tell us then, what do you think? Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus, aware of their malice, said, Why put me to the test, you hypocrites? Show me the money for the tax. And they brought him a coin, and Jesus said to them, Whose likeness and inscription is this? They said, Caesar's. Then he said to them, Render therefore to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. When they heard it, they marveled, and they left him and went away. The same day the Sadducees came to him, who say there is no resurrection, and they asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses said, If a man dies having no children, his brother must marry the widow and raise up children for his brother. Now there were seven brothers among us, and the first married and died, and having no children left his wife to his brother. So to the second and third down to the seventh. After them all the women died. In the resurrection, therefore, to which of the seven will she be wife? For they all had her. But Jesus answered them, You are wrong, because you know neither the Scriptures nor the power of God. 
For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. And as for the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what, you, what was said to you by God? I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not God of the dead, but of the living. And when the crowd heard it, they were astonished at his teaching. But when the Pharisees heard it, that he had silenced the Sadducees, they came together. And one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Now while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them a question saying, What do you think of the Christ? Whose son is he? They said to him, The son of David. And he said to them, How is it then that David, inspired by the Spirit, calls him Lord, saying, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand till I put your enemies under your feet. If David thus calls him Lord, how is he his son? And no one was able to answer him a word, nor from that day did anyone dare to ask him any more questions. Then, Jesus, then said Jesus to the crowds and to his disciples, The scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat, so practice and observe whatever they tell you, but not what they do. For they preach, but do not practice. They bind heavy burdens, hard to bear, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with their finger. They do all their deeds to be seen by men, for they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long, and they love the place of honor at feasts and the best seats in the synagogues and salutations in the marketplaces and being called rabbi by men. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher and you are all brethren. And call no man your father on earth, for you have one Father who is in heaven. Neither be called masters, for you have one Master, the Christ. He who is greatest among you shall be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because you shut the kingdom of heaven against men. For you neither enter yourselves nor allow those who would enter to go in. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you traverse sea and land to make a single proselyte, and when he becomes a proselyte, you make him twice as much a child of Gehenna as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guides, who say, if anyone swears by the temple, it is nothing, but if anyone swears by the gold of the temple, he is bound by his oath. You blind fools, which is greater, the gold, or the temple that has made the gold sacred. And you say, if anyone swears by the altar, it is nothing. But if anyone swears by the gift that is on the altar, he is bound by his oath. You blind men, for which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred. So he who swears by the altar swears by it and by everything on it. And he who swears by the temple swears by it and by him who dwells in it. And he who swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by him who sits upon it. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you tithe mint and dill and cumin, and you have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice and mercy and faith. These you ought to have done without neglecting the others. You blind guides, straining out a gnat and swallowing a camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you cleanse the outside of the cup and of the plate, but inside they are full of extortion and rhapsody. You blind Pharisees, first clean the inside of the cup and of the plate, that the outside also may be clean. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like whitewashed tombs, which outwardly appear beautiful, but within they are full of dead men's bones and all uncleanness. So you also outwardly appear to men, but within you are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you bind 
for you build the tombs of the, of the prophets and adorn the monuments of the righteous, saying, If we had lived in the days of our fathers, we would not have taken part with them in the shedding of the blood of the prophets. Thus, you witness against yourselves, for you are sons of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up then the measure of your father. You serpents, you brood of vipers, how are you to escape being sentenced to Gehenna? Therefore I send you prophets and wise men and scribes. Some of you you will kill and crucify, and some you will scourge in your synagogues and persecute from town to town, that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed on earth, from the blood of the innocent Zechariah, the son of Barahia, whom you murdered between the sanctuary and the altar. Truly, I say to you, all this will come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, killing the prophets and stoning those who are sent to you. How often would I have gathered your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings and you would not behold your house is forsaken and desolate. For I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to the loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight that you may be found just when you speak and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part you will make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create me in a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me by your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice, or else I would give it. You do not delight in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. These, O God, you will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion. Build the walls of Jerusalem. Then you shall be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then they shall offer bullocks on your altar. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. O oh, you are the King of peace and Savior of our souls, and to you is crime glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Having realized, O oh my soul, the hour of the end, and remembering the cutting down of the fig tree, work therefore most diligently, O oh wretched soul, with the talent which has been given to you, in vigilance and crying aloud, 
May we not remain outside the bridal chamber of Christ. Why are you heedless, O my miserable soul? Why do you inopportunely imagine vain cares? Why do you occupy yourself with that which flows away? The last hour is at hand, and we shall shortly be parted from earthly things. Therefore, gaining time, rouse yourself and cry out, I have sinned against you, my Savior. Do not cut me down like the unfruitful fig tree, but as the merciful Christ, have pity on me. For with fear I cry out, may we not remain outside the bridal chamber of Christ. On the 26th of the month, we commemorate the holy hieromartyr Basilius, Bishop of Amasia. On this day, Saint Glafira reposed in peace. On this day, our righteous mother Justa reposed in peace. On this day, our righteous father Nestor, who forsook parents for the monastic life, reposed in peace. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father Andrew and Anatolius, disciples of Saint Ephemius the Great. On this day, we commemorate Saint Clarence, Bishop of Vienne in Gaul. On this day, we commemorate our father among the Saint Stephen, first bishop and enlightener of Perm. Τη Αγία και Μεγάλη Τρίτη, τη των δέκα Παρθένων Παραβολή, τη εκ του Ιερού Ευαγγελίου, μνίαν ποιούμεθα. Τρίτη Μεγίστη Παρθένου, δέκα φέρη, νίκην φερούσα σα δεκάστου δεσπότου. On this holy and great Tuesday, we make remembrance of the parable of the ten virgins from the Holy Gospel. The greatest of Tuesdays brings to mind the ten virgins bearing the victory of the just master. Wherefore, O Bridegroom Christ, number us with the prudent virgins and include us in your chosen flock and have mercy on us. Amen. Amen. Ευλογείτε τα έργα Κυρίου των Κυρίων. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Let us cast off slothfulness, and with bright lamps let us meet the Christ, the immortal bridegroom crying out all the works of the Lord. Bless the Lord. Ευλογούμεν Πατέρα Υιό και Άγιο Πνεύμα τον Κύριο ακουνούστο το κοινό ψυχήτσι μόν ελεόν εν Αγίτ όπως απέλθω μη τέντες καιρών Εμπορία σαλόμεν, ευλογείτε τα έργα Κυρίου τον Κύριο. Now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. All have received equal grace from God. Increase accordingly the talent given to you with the help of Christ singing. All the works of the Lord, bless the Lord. And omen evlogomen ke proskidomen ton kirion, to dogmati to tyranniko, i ositris pedes pipis tendes, and ti camino blethendes, theonomologum salondes, evloikite ta erga kiriu ton kirio. Let us honor and magnify in song the Theotokos and the mother of the Lord.
symbols and chorus, praise him with strings and pipe. Since I, O bridegroom Christ, have permitted my soul to slumber in indolence, I do not possess the flaming lamp of virtues. And like the foolish virgins, I wonder when it is the time for work. O oh, Master, do not close from me your heart of compassion, but awaken me, shaking off my darkening sleep and bringing me in the with the prudent virgins to your bridal chamber where there is the clarity of song from those who feast and unceasingly cry out O Lord glory to you Σα πατρίκε ιό και αγιο πνεύματι. Ενήν και αι και ιστούς αιώνας τον αιώνα μη. Του κρύψαν το στο ταλάντο την κατακρίσινα κούσα ταψίκι. Mi kripti logo teu, katangele tatav matsi aptu inablene arusa to charisma iselti sisti chara tu ki. Σύ δόξα πρέπει, Κύριε ο Θεός ημών, και σύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν, το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγίο Πνεύματι, νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων, αμήν. 
Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to all people. We praise you, we bless you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. Lord King, Heavenly Father, Father Almighty, Lord, Only Begotten Son, Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit, Lord God, the Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You who takes away the sins of the world, accept our prayer, you who are seated on the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For you alone are holy, you alone are Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Each day I shall bless you and praise your name forever and to the ages of the ages. Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to another. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, to you I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For with you is the source of life, and in your light we shall see light. Extend your mercy to those who know you. Grant, O Lord, that we may be kept this day without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and your name is praised and glorious unto all ages. Amen. Lord, let your mercy come upon us as we have hoped in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statues. Blessed are you, O Master, grant me understanding of your statues. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your statues. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Overlook not the works of your own hands. To you all praise, worship, and glory is befitting. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our morning supplication to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Lord. On the forgiveness and the remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable unto our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask of the Lord. Let us ask of the Lord. This, o Lord. At the end of our lives, may be Christian without pain, blameless and peaceful, and for a good account at the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord. Commend ourselves and one another in our life to Christ our God. Oh, you, Lord. Oh, you are a God of mercy, compassion, and love. And to you we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. to show mercy and to save us, our God, 
and to you we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, you faithful, let us eagerly work for the Master, for he distributes his wealth to his servants. Accordingly, then, let us increase the talent of grace. Let one be graced with wisdom through good works. Let another celebrate a service of splendor. Let another faithful to the word communicate this to the uninstructed. And yet another distribute wealth to the poor. For this we shall increase what is entrusted to us. And as faithful stewards of his grace, we may be worthy of the master's joy of this. He must worthy, O oh loving Christ, our God. In the morning we have been filled with your mercy, O oh Lord. We rejoiced and were glad in all our days. Let us rejoice for all the days that you have humbled us, the years we have seen afflictions. Look upon your servants and all your works. When you come in glory with your heavenly host and sit upon the throne of judgment, O oh, good shepherd, do not separate me, for you know the ways of those on the right and that those on the left are perverted. Wherefore, though I be hardened in sin, do not condemn me to perish with a goat, but number me with the sheep on your right. Save me as a Πρώτης Κυρίου του Θεού ημών εφημάς και τα έργα των χειρώνυμων κατεύθυνω εφημάς και το έργο των χειρώνυμων κατεύθυνω. Ο νύμφιος, ο καλής ωραίος παραπάντας άνθρωπος ο συγκαλέσας ημάς προς εστίαση πνευματική του νυμφόνος μου. Τη συνήμωνα σου μορφή των πτεσμάτων απερφιάσων τη μετέξη των μαθημάτων σου και στο λιδόξισκο μίσα τη σύσσωρε ότι το δια το μόνο φεδρό αναξία της βασιλείας σου ως εσπλάχνος. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen.
receive the gift with fear. Lend to him who gave it. Distribute to the poor and gain the Together, holy God, holy, holy mighty, mighty, holy, holy immortal, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, God holy, holy mighty, mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, pardon our sins. Master, forgive our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Having realized, O my soul, the hour of the end, and remembering the cutting down of the fig tree, Work, therefore, most diligently, O wretched soul, with the talent which has been given to you, in vigilance crying out, may we remain not outside the bridal chamber of Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Doxa patri ke iho ke agio pneumati ke nin ke ai ke istu seonas ton eonon amin. Την τιμιωτέραν των χερουβίμ και ενδοξωτέραν ασυγκρίτω των σεραφίμ, την αδιαφθόρο θεών λόγων τεκούσαν την όντω θεοτόκων σε μεγαλύνομεν. Εν ονόματι κυρίου ευλογήσων, Πάτερ. Wisdom, the one who is blessed, Christ our God, always now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O heavenly King, strengthen our faithful leaders. Edify the faith, pacify the nations, grant peace to the world, protect this holy church and this city, place our departed parents and brethren in the dwellings of the just, and in your goodness and mercy receive us also in repentance and confession as a good and loving God. O Lord and Master of my life, deliver me from the spirit of indolence, meddling, vain ambition, and idle talk. But grant to me, your servant, the spirit of prudence, humility, patience, and love. 
Yea, O Lord and King, grant me that I may see my own faults and to not judge my brother, for you are blessed to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Glory to you, O God, and our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, the Lord, who willingly came to his passion for our salvation through the intercessions of his all-pure and all-holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honored bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honored glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, and his glorious and all laudable apostles of the holy, glorious, and victorious martyrs, our saintly and God-bearing fathers, the holy and righteous divine ancestors, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us as a good and loving and merciful God. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. I don't know whether to say good evening or to say good morning, because the service that we just went through is the matins for tomorrow morning, which we usually serve in the morning. But what happened before any of us were born, on Holy Saturday, the liturgy was inserted into the divine services. And so all the services were pushed back 12 hours. So we celebrate matins in the evening, and we celebrate vespers in the morning this week. Confused yet? <laughs> Last night, those of you who were here, you remember what one of the things that Father George said, and half of it was Greek to me, I don't know. Uh, you understood, but half of it was in Greek, if I'm not mistaken. But it, this is all going to be in English, no Serbian, no Greek. He spoke about repentance, but dependent, the, uh, repentance that is controlled, repentance that means something. It's easy for me to say, when my parents caught my hand in the cookie jar, to say, oh, I'm sorry, and then at the first opportunity to get back to the cookie jar again. But I was sorry at that moment, but I quickly forgot about it. And I think that most of us are the same way. As far as sin is concerned, when we sin, we are truly sorry. And we say, Lord, I promise not to do it again. And then the opportunity arises again, and we do it all over again. So what does this mean to us? It means very simply that repentance is meaningless unless it bears fruit. And what is the fruit I'm talking about? Not apples and pears and uh, bananas and uh, oranges. I'm talking about good Christian deeds. Repentance is to promise no, and to try very, very hard not to do the sin again. Not only, not only to promise not to do the sin again, but to make a very serious effort in not doing it again. And to show the fruit of that repentance, we do good things especially now during Great Lent, during Holy Week, because Great Lent is over. Holy Week. We pray more. You notice that this church has many, many more services during this week than it has at any other time of the year. More opportunities to pray, more opportunities to gather together as 
God's family as brothers and sisters and to offer praise and thanksgiving to God and to really concentrate on our preparation to what we're going to do come Saturday night when we get ready to celebrate Pascha. We pray, we do good deeds. The opportunity is given to us every day, many times during the day, to do something good. And if we can't find anything really to do to do good, we can always pray for other people. And by praying for other people, we hope that they pray for us. Because we say to each other, pray for me. Those are not empty words. Those are very powerful words, a powerful message. To be able to pray for one another, to be able to lift up one another in prayer before God. But it's so much easier living in this world to tear people down and to bring them down to our level rather than to try ourselves to raise us, to raise up to the level that God wants us to raise up to. So next time that your hand gets caught in the cookie jar, I remember that vividly, and I'm older than most of you, uh, getting caught sneaking cookies out of the jar and my mother being upset and me promising I will never ever in my life do it again. And the moment the back was turned, going for the cookie jar again and swiping some cookies. Repentance is very important because if we are capable of repentance, we are capable of salvation. If we are capable of repentance, we are capable of forgiveness. And if we are capable of forgiveness, we are able to fight pride, which is our greatest enemy. Pride is the source of all of our sins. So if I can forgive and if I can be forgiven, there's hope for salvation. So that's all I'm going to tell you tonight. To continue, you have to come back tomorrow night or the next night. So remember, disciplined repentance. Just like a, an athlete practices, and they're good, but they practice and practice and practice more. And the more they practice, the better they get. So we as Christians, we're athletes as well. What are we doing? We're preparing to run the long course of our lives in repentance so that we may hear those wonderful words, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your Lord. And this is what each and every one of us wants to hear. God bless you and be careful out there. Ο νυμφίος έρχεται εν το μέσο της νύχτος και μακάριος ο δούλος ο νευρίς συγρήγορούντα ανάξιος δε Και 
της βασιλείας εξοκλειστής, αλλά να ανήψον κράζουσα. Άγιος, Άγιος, Άγιος Hello. 